Musician Bob Marley died at age 36 of acrolentiginous melanoma, a serious disease that is also the most common type of melanoma skin cancer in people with darker skin tones. Hi, I'm Dr. Shadi Karoj, dermatologist and director of community health at Mass General. There are three main types of skin cancer, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma skin cancer. We identify melanoma cancers by the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. A is for asymmetry, so you should watch for spots that are not symmetrical on your body. B is for border irregularity, which means that the borders of a mole should be roughly smooth. If they're not, if they're jagged, for example, that's an indicator that it should be checked. C is for color irregularity. One sign can be unusual colors in a mole, such as pink, red, white, blue, or blue-black. D is for diameter, and the cutoff for dermatologists is six millimeters, which is about the size of a pencil eraser. And finally, E is for evolution. One of the most important factors in evaluating a spot is whether or not it's changing. So for example, if a mole is changing in size, color, or appearance in any way, or has symptoms such as pain, itching, crusting, or burning, it's important to have that evaluated. Melanoma skin cancer is the deadliest type of skin cancer, and it's on the rise because of intense exposure to certain rays such as UV radiation and unhealthy habits such as indoor tanning. While there's no sure way to prevent skin cancer, there are things we can do to lower our risk. Here are my top three tips to prevent skin cancer and premature aging. Tip number one, have your skin checked. I cannot stress this enough. We recommend annual skin checks if you've had a family history of skin cancer or if you've had a lot of sun exposure or sunburns, and in particular, a history of using indoor tanning beds. Sometimes younger people don't think that they have to take as much care of their skin, but I've seen skin cancer in patients as young as 20 years old. Some of my patients of darker skin types may not be aware that they too are at risk of skin cancer, but skin cancer can affect those of all skin types, so we recommend skin checks for everyone. Tip number two, wear sunscreen. It is important to wear sunscreen that actually protects against all possible rays. This includes UV radiation, visible light, and infrared radiation, such as heat. To protect against all these rays, sunscreens need to be mineral-based, which means that when you read the active ingredients, they need to contain zinc, titanium, or iron oxide. Remember to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. Fun fact, the sunscreen testing was only done for two hours, so we really don't know how well they hold up after that. Tip number three. Protect your face against pollution. Pollution contains toxic chemicals that can deposit and corrode the top layers of the skin, making it vulnerable to DNA damage. A good skincare regimen to protect against pollution involves not only a mineral sunscreen, but also a cleansing regimen to remove chemicals that may have deposited on the skin, and also serums that contain antioxidants to protect your skin against free radicals. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Shadi Karosh, and for more staying healthy videos, click here. And to subscribe, Click here.